I want to get to the March jobs report, which came out earlier this morning. It shows employers added only 103,000 jobs last month. And if I'm not mistaken, it was 158,000 people who walked away from the labor force. Not seen that yeah. for a long, long time. Paul Conway is with us, former Labor Department Chief of Staff. I'm calling this a disappointing report. I don't know how much of it you can lay on the weather, which was bad in March, but what say you? Uh, I think it is a bad report. Look, um, there are some studies that show that since 2010, in the first quarter, uh, two out of three of the reports will be positive and there'll be one aberration. So hopefully that aberration is this month and not last month. If you look at the trend over the past 12 months, we're heading in the right direction, employing in the right sectors, manufacturing, and other things like that. But the folks coming away from the labor force, you don't really want to see that. We'll see if it's whether or not uh, in next month and whether or not there are any adjustments that are made to this month. Well, could you but, extrapolate out, for, just for a second, Paul, can you extrapolate sure. out and say, look, the first quarter of this year is not going to be 3% growth? Uh, I, I, yes. Actually, I think you can extrapolate out and say that won't be 3% growth. But I think, I think the important thing here is to take a look at how we're doing over 12 months, over 24 months. And I know that on Numbers Day, people don't tend to look at that type of thing. But I think on this one, in fairness and in balance, you have to say, no, these are not the numbers we want. We're not, we didn't create the number of jobs in this past month of the new entries uh, to the labor force itself, which is usually around 150, 175,000. So we want to do better. Okay, Paul, I'm going to change subject entirely and come up with something which I think is very, very positive. <laughs> CVS, got it? They're going to start treating kidney patients for kidney failure with dialysis at home. Now, I bring this up with you, Paul, because you've received a kidney transplant. Our audience doesn't know it, but you did. And yes. you're the president of the American Association of Kidney Patients. Yes. I take it that this is a wonderful move for people like you from CVS. It, it's fantastic. Let me tell you, the word disruption has bounced around a lot. So you have what Uber did to taxis, mm. and you have all these other types of things that are disruptive. But this is something that, for kidney care in the United States, um, right now it's a $98 billion health care problem. And for kidney patients in particular, more and more patients are looking for treatments that match their aspirations, meaning they want to be able to stay employed part-time or work part full-time. Home treatment actually allows you the flexibility to do that. And for CVS Health to come into this marketplace, dialysis care in the United States right now is done really almost 70 percent of it by two major companies, Fresenius North America and DeVita Corporation. And they do a good job. The folks that work there do great. But this shakes up the dynamic, and what it essentially does is you have CVS coming in. They can intervene earlier in somebody's health care to say, you're inclined to or you're headed towards kidney failure. Here are a series of interventions, including transplant. Hmm. And if you are going to go on dialysis, we want to be your partner in dialysis and do dialysis at home. And I think that's a very significant thing. It's going to disrupt the market. It's going to change the behavior of the two companies that dominate this space because they're going to have to change the legislation they lobby for here in Washington, and they're going to have to be more responsive to it. They're going to have to be more responsive right. to patients. Okay. It's significant. Yeah, Paul Conway, we're glad you're well, and we're glad <laughs> we can you. bring some good news into an otherwise difficult situation. Paul Conway, everyone, good man. Thanks very much, Thank Paul. You. Good luck. You bet.